the health ministry in Gaza has reported the first case of polio in the besieged enclave. This comes just hours after the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres called for humanitarian pauses in the ongoing conflict to enable a polio vaccination campaign for children. In recent weeks, the polio virus has been detected in wastewater samples in Khan Yunis and Der Albala. That means the virus is now circulated with hundreds of thousands of children in Gaza at risk. Polio does not care about dividing lines and polio does not wait. Preventing and containing the spread of polio will take a massive, coordinated and urgent effort. The United Nations is poised to launch a vital polio vaccine campaign in Gaza for more than 340,000 children under the age of 10. The World Health Organization has approved the release of 1.6 million doses of the polio vaccine. UNICEF is coordinating delivery of the vaccines and the cold chain equipment to store them. And UNRWA, the largest primary health care provider in Gaza, has medical teams ready to administer the vaccines and assist with logistics. But the challenges are grave. Health, water and sanitation systems in Gaza have been decimated. The majority of hospitals and primary care facilities are not functional and people are constantly on the run for safety. And routine immunizations have been severely disrupted by the conflict increasing the spread of other preventable diseases like measles and hepatitis A. We know how an effective polio vaccination campaign must be administered. Given the wholesale devastation in Gaza, at least 95% vaccination coverage will be needed during each round of the two-round campaign to prevent polio spread and reduce its emergence. The health ministry in Gaza blames the emergence of polio on the challenging conditions caused by the Israeli blockade, including the spread of sewage and shortages of medical supplies. The ministry also stressed that a ceasefire is crucial for the campaign's success and for addressing broader health issues in Gaza. UNICEF plans to launch a two-round vaccination campaign in Gaza by the end of August and September, aiming for a 95% coverage. The campaign will require significant coordination for vaccine transport, refrigeration and the entry of polio experts. Hamas supports the UN's call for a humanitarian pause and demands the delivery of medicine and food to Gaza's residents. The situation has exacerbated by the ongoing conflict, which has severely disrupted healthcare services and aid delivery in the region. Polio has been detected in wastewater samples from Gaza, highlighting the urgency of the situation. Public health officials warned that without effective vaccination and health interventions, the virus could spread further.